because they saw my car every day at the apartment complex. Mm -hmm. They started creating stories that the man and I are dating. It hurts me that no one sees my hard work. You put, I put so much energy into this thing for it to now be like, oh, Papa, you do me. Mm. And you know the business. I'm a man. He's 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 chopping me. He's. Selling a catcher was at 5 p.m. Media Fiodor Eight Avenue Wahala. A good gist. Nini na ever from a Fiodor a sunny muye a digu honoma. Mubeka ya report. I'm the kind of brown mono. Na a woman say a Fiodor a no be called die. A wo Eight Avenue restaurant honoma. Nunti and a palm money from one casana or your CEO. Mammy in church room a brown mona. A Fiodor a do say in a 5 p.m. On my Sunday morning, I did go my church room here. So I name Mr. Kobe Rich Condos owner no a champion. And I saw a new medical manager and a quarter of one of my issue in the bio. No, then you know, if you're a door about the church room now, it's a venue once and see me in a field door. It's room say no crap. Now, you say a restaurant in the corner manager now on the work. I'll be a message to say. Our forty percent share. It was our business. My name is Mr. Kobe, and the year you're not and the idea no a buy ye. Now if you're a doctor, say when I did to just say. And then Mr. Kobe man here manager at our restaurant told him no. We sign some man apartment and now we team for free. So the be and the be you man home. Now some apartment not the man no. Any one or start is only the boyfriend. Any a kasa kasa. It requires a relationship. Be be koko so it may affect him. Mr. Kobe the wife and the ma. Or no kasa if you order the family so it more end so because now same pin and the kwa bantu say only Mr. Kobe a champion. And if you order send him a be be and send him the see ye kofa buy ye and send him a kind in ano. Aslan Fashion School at Abeka for them was a junior high school and as a senior high school. Now, open fashion school, kwa was with my bear fashion designer, Papa Pana, so be young son of Juma dear, a Aslan Fashion School and Abeka for them all. And poor we a Juma person, we young son of Juma Bakumi and Nibino, was with me a formal forms, Nibi, now was wearing really well Aslan Fashion School. A better set up a palm suit, wedding gown, batik making tie and dye, decoration, bead making, or your modern so bit me. Ako Aslan Fashions na modeling career no etumi akwa ni mu edi amao. Omu location no ewo kwa da su Methodist Retreat Center. Beti ma formu numbers na wa friend anyo mu edi nkuma. Nenye ade pa mne nkwa ya chua ya chua your yeah, true leadership, your yeah, true creativity, your yeah, true marketing, you know, your better asylum fashion, scoop and trim with a bit my friend, now you're more at this hour. So, now if you're not it avenue, a more details, you know, a juicy one, any So, can you take us through the whole process of it avenue and how it ended up here? Okay. So, um, first of all, I want to start from like the beginning, how I met my business partner. I'm sure you guys already know who he is by now. So, we met in. Uh, I first came to Ghana around 2015. So we met like maybe a year or two after, let's say 2017 or 16 around there. We met to a mutual friend, um, this this young girl. So we all became like friends. Like I even saw him to be like someone, like an uncle. Or like he was like a father figure to me. So I always call him uncle, uncle, oh, uncle, uncle. Anybody who asks me who he is, oh, that's my uncle, that's my uncle. And um, he was into real estate. When I first met him, he had done his project in Spintex. Uh, it's like an apartment and it has like a little, it had like a small restaurant, kitchen kind of thing there. And me, I cook. I cook very well. Anybody who knows me knows me, I cook. I cook for 10 friends. <laughs> so like I cook very well. And then we always talked about like doing business together. He's someone, when he's a, when, when you're around him, he wants you to like grow. He's very supportive. And he saw like how hardworking of a person that I am. Like I've never been a dependent kind of person. So he brought this um, restaurant idea up because of one his the the restaurant in his in his apartment complex thing, mm -hmm. and then me I cook. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm so I think that's a good idea. Like yeah, but he didn't think I was ready that time because that time too, I was very young. I was still like trying to figure out myself within the industry. But the idea always came about. If you're restaurants on my end, yeah, then I'm do, then I'm doing my music. Then you see me doing this. Then you see me doing that. So it was just this year that. Um, he was like, if I am really serious about this restaurant thing, like if you do it, like we'll make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Cause he he owns he owns hotels, he owns apartments, he knows how lucrative the food industry is. Mm -hmm. So um he sat me down, he's like, Are you sure you want us to do this? Like, are you ready for like, oh I'm like myself, I'm ready, like I wanna do it. And one thing about me, anything that I do that I I put my energy to, like I put my mind to, like I go full throttle for it, like a hundred percent. I put a hundred and everything that I do. So um, that's when we started the whole, at first we were trying to find a name, we got the name, we went to register it, 
um, percentages. So it's not like it's not like it's Avenue. It wasn't mine. It was a partnership. Mm-hmm. Uh, I co-owned it, and I think I think one thing that kind of messed me up, fucked me over, was that when I went on UTV, mm-hmm. I had the opportunity to really explain in details each avenue, the ownership. But you know, sometimes to like, when the cameras are on you and you're in the moments of things, like you might over-exaggerate truths. And that's what I did. That's That was my first fuck up. Because people were like attacking me, calling me a manager of the restaurant. I don't even own the restaurant. Um, Sister Fia, the whole Sister Fia issue, she came online dissing me about the restaurant. So like, I felt like she was attacking my ego. Like, you know, I was like, ah, this girl, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm not no fucking manager. Like, a bad bitch like me, I cannot be no manager. Like, I've come too far in the industry in my life to just be, even though being a manager of a, of a, of a, of a company, there's nothing wrong with it. But I knew I was more than that. So my first mistake was going on UTV and saying that I'm a, uh, owner. I'm the owner. I should have said, oh, I'm a co-owner. I have shares in the restaurant. Mm-hmm. The reason why people might think I'm a manager is because, yes, they see me there every day. Behind, behind the scenes, there was a lot of disturbances going on. People now started rumors mm-hmm. because they saw my car every day at the apartment complex. Mm-hmm. They started creating stories that the man and I are dating, mm-hmm. that we're in a relationship, that um, just a lot... And, and 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 that's the messed up thing about it because I man, someone is someone that I respect so much, and like he's he's really put me on a pedestal, like on a level. Like with be, he's opened my eyes to the business aspect. Even me as a woman, he you know he made me see it, like I said, you have words, like you have words. Like he made me feel like a woman of substance because like he puts a lot of energy into people that he's around. Anybody who's around you, he puts energy into you. So um, I didn't like the idea that people were now saying that we're dating. It was even ruining some of the relationships that I was getting myself into. Mm-hmm. I'll be talking to a guy, yeah, things will get awkward. He starts to come up acting, acting funny. Why? Oh, he starts to question me even about my car. Why am I even stay, asking me, why am I even, why do I have to stay at the apartment? Why can't I just go home and come back and forth? So he started hearing the rumors about the whole fake relationship. I Miss mean, someone and I was very platonic. Like I say, he's someone that I saw to be like my uncle, but the rumors and the hearsay and like even I even saw people on TikTok saying the weirdest things about him and I so false. So those were some factors that ended up to where we are now. Mm-hmm. Why I had to take myself out of the out of the equation um physically mm-hmm. with each avenue and say that I'm no longer a feeling because it was just too much going on. Mm-hmm. It hurts me that no one sees my hard work. Mm-hmm. You put, I put so much energy into this thing for it to now be like, oh, Papa need me. Mm. And you know, the business, I'm you know, he's, yeah. he's, he's chopping me. He's, 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 he's spending it like lies. I'm a human being, bro. Like things as, as tough as I am and as a bad bitch that I am, these things, once it's affecting my mental health, I have to just sit, sit back and kind of like rearrange things and see what's going to, they me. Mm. So that was the main, 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 main reason why I had to like, it was a, t- it was a tough decision. Mm-hmm. Cause this is somebody I've known since 2016, 17. I've known him for a very long time since I come to Ghana. We've built this friendship. We've like, like, like we're some, or a guy like me, but it's also ruining relationships that, I, that, that, that I'm getting myself into mm-hmm. because of rumors, not because of him, but what people are saying here, saying no matter, and no matter what I say, you know, the guys I talk to is like, oh, they don't believe me. And it's not my fault that they don't believe me. But Charlie, once one person is saying something or two people are, a whole bunch of people are saying the same thing. They'll say, oh, there must be some truth in it. Yeah. But there is no truth in it. Yes, I was staying there. I had my own room. Um, but I had to be at the restaurants. Like one time it was raining. I was like, hey, if I was staying at Spintex and if I wasn't here, the rain could have fucked everything up because it was raining so bad mm-hmm. that they forgot to take out on oh, the drainage thing, the, the thing, mm-hmm. they forgot to take it out. And then when I went upstairs, the whole place was flooded. Even the stock room was flooded. If I had not been there, we would have came to work and everything is messed up. Mm-hmm. So those are some fa- reasons why I even had to stay at the apartment. It was more convenient for me to, you know, um, mon- monitor the workers, monitor the restaurant and make sure everything is okay. Like I said, I'm a very passionate worker. The thing with Eats Avenue, that's just what happened and I'm no longer, like I said, affiliated. 
upfront, but I still do have my shares in the business. Okay. <clears throat> so based on what you've told us, you guys didn't end on a bad note. No. So then why did you um, tweet it at your own risk? Because that made it seem like you guys had an issue and now you are no longer affiliated with them. Because then if you if you didn't end on a bad note and it's just rumors, then that means you still wish him well. Or if you still have your 40% share there as you posted there, then it means that even if you are not there physically and Eat Avenue is going still, well, you still get your 40% from it. Right. So then why did you tweet that it's at your own risk? Because then now... Put um, this thing aside. We are co-hosts. I go to Eat Avenue because of you. Yeah. So me now, you say we should eat at my own risk. I won't go again. Now no. you are losing. So the Eat at your own risk, it was more like, okay, now I'm not there. Yeah, I'm not there. Obviously, I feel like, first of all, I moved with emotions. It's something that I shouldn't have tweeted. Because like 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 you said, people who are going there because of me, now it's like, hey, if you want to say Eat at your own risk, what are you trying to say? Like, now I'll be scared. to Now, obviously, that was something I shouldn't have done. I think... Looking back at it now, it was very childish of me, mm. but it was more like, okay, I'm not there. If anything happens, it's your own risk. Mm. Let's say you get a wrong order. Normally, people are coming to me in my DMs. I get messages like all the time. If you order, my food is not coming, the dispatch. So I was doing a lot of the, I guess, P, not not PR, but more of handling issues. Like even my number was on the 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 box for like, if you have complaints. So it was more of like, if you have any complaints, don't come to me about it. Go to the, go to, um, let's say, call Eats Avenue on its own. Mm. Don't come into my DMs about it. Don't come and message me, message me about it. But like I said, it came from a very childish place. And because all of these other issues was, was happening, like people were saying that um, this guy came there. What's his name? Medical's manager came there. Mm-hmm. People were saying, eh, it's because medic, uh, uh, a medical's manager came there and they saw me. They, 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 they said that, uh, that my co-owner saw me Chopping the guy at the restaurants. Mm? Oh. <laughs> like, like, it's, it's, how? First of all, me, me Obia, like, I welcome everyone. I'm very, I'm very hospital. I'm very sociable. Like, I will flex with my customers because, hey, the more I flex, the more money comes, the more they spend. You understand? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's what I, that's what I do with everybody. Mm-hmm. Male, female, I flirt with girls, I flirt with guys, just to get you guys to be comfortable and see some in home. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not bougie. I, like, I'm not stuck up. Yeah. So people were now, that's what I'm saying. It's like a lot of rumors were affecting me. Things people were saying, like it was getting to me. Like I'm a human being. So like I said, the eat on your own, Rick. I shouldn't have said that. It was very childish of me to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, you can still go to East Avenue and go and eat. <laughs> but if you have any complaints, please call the company. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. Um, the 40% that you have with them, I mean, you, you did mention that you have a 40% share. And I don't know how you can just drop that. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming you still, yes. you still will get your invest, is, your yes. um, profits Residuals, from that yeah. or whatever you, you get from yeah. the 40%. Yeah. So from what you're saying, you still have shares in the business. I still have shares in the business. And yes, you I still do. make money from that. I still make money But from you that. just won't be like as present as, as present, yes. you used to be. Yes. And we won't really be seeing you advertise its avenue. Exactly. So right now we're investor. hiring, we're, yeah. we're actually like, right now I feel like also, you know, we opened in February, March, mm-hmm. yeah, and we're in September. We're in September, yeah, yeah. Right. So I think it's been a good six months. I've most of the time when you're doing a business, you really need a hard, six months of hardcore marketing, hardcore promotion, and that's exactly what I did. So now the name is there. The quality of the food, people know it. People know the restaurant, the location, and everything. So I, now we'll probably like we're hiring more of influencers and other people to now market the brand because, like I said, as a CEO, I don't have to always be present mm-hmm. so now we've hired other people to do the job that I was doing mm-hmm. so it's not too much work ah, one time when the sister fear issue happened somebody went to write not even just on Twitter even on Instagram some pages I see these things and you still you're still you're still in um, I, I don't want to say her name because I didn't uh, you're still in uh, this one's husband and he has bought you the car he has he, he, he's, he's, he, he's got to you uh, an apartment like it was rampant it was too much mm-hmm. And as she being the wife that she is, you know, she's seen all these things. How is she feeling? Because I didn't know more than one person, more than two people. A lot of people are saying these things. I also put myself in her shoes and how she feels. Like I said, any business that I do, babes, whether I'm selling shoes or I'm selling a wig or even I'm promoting a friend's, there's passion in it. So that's just how I am as a woman in general. Like it's not just because it's Eats Avenue, but Sana Metier. Anything I attach myself to, I promote it hardcore. But 
these rumors, it was, like I said, it was affecting me, the relationships I'm getting myself involved in. Him and his relationship with, with his wife and then his kids. And, and then my, my family, my mom, like sometimes they are, they are questioning me. It's like, and see, you guys are not believing what I'm saying. You guys are not believing what other people are saying outside. So it's best I separate myself from the person. Because this is what's bringing the drama to me. This is what's bringing... So now every relationship that I get myself into, I have to now explain to the person what it really is. Now, is this person going to believe me that it's not true that I'm not dating this man? Like, it's, it was becoming a lot. I think you guys will not understand because like you said, like I'm the kind of person that I always say, oh, if you hear rumors, they're debunked. But, but this was becoming too much, bro. Like I said, I'm a human being. Like I have emotions. Like there are some things I can deal with and there's some things that I can't deal with. And it was affecting my business partner and I, our platonic relationship. Like this man is someone that has been there for me through thick and thin, through so many things. But then these little, little, little rumors I was getting into arguments with a guy I'm dating because of him. Not because of him, but because of what people are saying. Mm -hmm. I feel that Mr. Cody, it's a very nice No, no, I can't need it. Now, I feel that it's a nice thing. I work it can. Also, I'm not here. I'm not ending on a good note. Then you say be a bunny, be in the womb. Now, so Mr. Cody, I'm not here. I brought issue. You buy ye. I feel that because it's at your own risk. Now, throw through shade. You know, Mr. Cody, I can say silence is gold. You know, just a BB or one man. One of the own person be can watch them. Be my crown. I feel that can watch them. Medical manager. We be can see a video. We are making a debris. We move to rich condos. Now, what the tarin? No home man. No journey. I dare dare. Because no more bank crying. No more start to say. Oh, my shit. We see little snake. We mean I know. And if your door a day a brain is a day a team. Best do that to that shopping. No, what you can watch shopping. Maybe I dare bag and I make him for sale. But is it best do shopping? Now, I'm shopping. No, and check. And you have fourteen days. We start to count them. I say and tell them. Power TV cars. Maybe I pass on shopping. No, and the Christmas say, but we buy our doorstep or UK. We buy our beer. No, no more shopping at the bar. Ghana. Now, over Ghana, person go find me beer or UK. So, I bet you the best do it in South Sudan. Now, we buy our here, but no matter I shopping at the abroad. Open your mobile, bet my phone number. So, go screen us. Now, you move at the encomo. Me day any country, I go see my crown money. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Mama Cooking Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Akosuya. There you have it, people. Lazy Tomato Mix mix with tasty and delicious. The secret to this winning meal, be it your abe, in katenkwai, in krakrak, wukontomre, wujolof, in diani bia, ube here tomato mix no. I say, Lazy Tomato Mix, mixed food, delicious. Can we eat? Lazy Tomato Mix, your family, our passion. This advert is FDA approved.